All right, hey guys, welcome again to Fire Alarms and Such, and today we're going to be doing testing and review of the System Sensor i3 two wire smoke detector. So this is a relatively decent smoke detector. It's a pretty simple design. It's a photoelectric. You got your green indicating LED, your red indicating LED, your test button, your base. The head is removable from the base, and you've got your wiring terminals, and your silence the panel, so we don't get the annoying beep. And so with the wiring terminals, this is a two-wire device, um, but see, there's a lot of terminals. So this uh, first plus one, that is the power in from your panel. Then this next plus one is where you, uh, I should say positive power in from your panel. Then this next plus one is where you take positive going from the first detector to the next detector, or if it's the last detector in the line, use a resistor, and then both the resistor and the negative power from the panel go to the negative spot on the uh, base. Wow, don't know why I couldn't think of that word. And then these two spots are for an, uh, like an auxiliary supervision relay. Uh, so that's pretty much the base. There's really nothing else in there. Uh, these are spring-loaded terminals, so when I take the uh, device, the head, off the base, the panel will enter a trouble, saying that the base, that there's a fire missing. trouble, which is on left smoke, which is this one. Sorry for the jump cut, I just found a weird feature on my panel by accidentally putting in the wrong code. I found a new feature, so I was like, oh, okay. Uh, so to put this back on, you just simply set it in the base. You gotta get it kind of lined up, and then you'll hear it go in, and then you turn, and then your trouble will go away and you'll be back in system normal. What's nice is it has a removable chamber for chamber cleaning. You simply take the top part, and you turn, there, sorry, just stuck. So you turn it counterclockwise, then you remove it, so here's your chamber guard. Here's the actual chamber. So, do the, so to clean it, you just take it off, and there's your actual Sensei technology in there. Here's your chamber, you clean that out, and then it's going to go into a fault because, well, this chamber's gone. So when you want to put it back on, there's these little arrows, and then the arrows on here, you just line up the arrows, snap your chamber back in, Take your chamber guard, put it back on top, and click back in, and there you go, you just cleaned your chamber. So now we are going to get to some of the testing. We will do a test button, we will solo test it, and we will test it with some actual fire. So, the test button, I'm just going to be using this little hex wrench, and uh, my radionics alarm will be going off at high tone code 3. So. Let's test it. So all I have to do is press the button. It will reset from the key switch. So while that is resetting, I can get my can of solo. Got that. Okay, we don't want it to cap. Alright, panel is booting up, system normal, and all I gotta do is spray the detector. Take the base off, air it out. And I'll go into trouble as I have the base off. Alright, so I'm going to set the camera down. I'm going to go get some fire and we will try the system smoke. Hang right on. Alright, so we got our burning paper. We'll put it right under. And now we wait.
I'm going to set the camera down and go extinguish the fire. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, so that has been my testing and review of the System Sensor i3 overall. It's a pretty, pretty nice alarm. I like the test button feature. It's a lot easier than the magnet. I like the detachable head and uh, the pre wiring in the base, and then allows you to get in trouble. I like how easy it is to uh, get in the chamber to clean it. Uh, yeah, so overall, it's a pretty good alarm. So, thank you guys for watching, and as always, have a wonderful day.